hit the subscribe button. Or don't. I really don't care one way or the other. Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video we have another uh, cheap gaming with AliExpress and of course we got another handheld system here with a really really long drawn out name and I'd say this is episode uh, 412. Um, this one a little bit different. First we'll take a look at the packaging. Pretty nice. Two times USB 416 and one. Game power. Take a look at that right there. Look at that. Allowable carry on. So, this one, this cost me, uh, the system itself was $16.19. Shipping is the most I've ever paid for one of these consoles, and it was just over $7. I believe it was uh, $7.72, something like that. Again, where they come up with these prices, I do not know. Maybe it's just the conversion rate. I don't know. All right, so this is your packaging. And it just pulls out nicely right there. Remember, if you don't have uh, a condom, you'll probably want to pull out. You know, unless you're looking to, you know get kids and that's a different story but this video is not about that all right you do come with your complimentary charging cable looks uh, really small all right this little sucker kind of a orange creamsicle color going on here anybody ever like those creamsicles I never cared for them People thought they were great. I just, uh, they were nasty to me. When I was a kid, my go-to for the summers were uh, the Otter Pops. All right, our official measurement contraption, the Honey Baked Ham gift card. There we go. And there we go. All right. So, system itself, pretty nice. Nothing uh, extravagant. I picked this color scheme. I don't know why. I don't even know if I had an option to pick a different color scheme. I can't remember. That's where you can plug in your two USBs, and that's where the power gets plugged into. One thing I do like, right there, that tells you how much battery power you have left. That is really, really cool. A lot of these uh, systems don't have any type of a battery life indicator, and so the only way you'll know your battery is going out, uh, the screen will start to get darker and darker and darker until boom, it's just gone. Here, you actually have an indicator. Really cool. Got your uh, X, Y, A, B buttons, your sound, start button right here, your reset and your select your directional pad. On and off is down at the bottom. All right. The sound, not the best. Yeah. Um, we've actually seen this user interface before, at least uh, it looks familiar. We're going to go ahead and Go to English. I'm trying to. Okay, hey, just thought I'd give it a shot. Um, all right, let's just start. That's not what we want. Ah. Hold up. All right, so, yeah, why? And we go to English. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this down a little bit. Get some better viewing. Um, but yeah, 
So we have seen this. It's 416 and 1. We'll just go through the games right now. Mag Max, I personally like that uh, game on the NES. Many people did not. Chippendale, Mario, Mega Man 3. Of course, you got your Contras, your mandatory Contras. Let's see if we got any other elevator action. Dig Dug. Double Dragon 2 and 3. People go crazy over those. Darkwing Duck. I like I like that game a lot. Let's see what else we got here. We got a game called Russia. Your mandatory Tetris. Gotta have that. This isn't the best user interface. Um not quite the worst I've seen, but uh, could definitely be better. A lot of these games you're just never going to you know, even think about twice. You might try it out just to try it out. Well, you got 10 yard fight. Um, but yeah. The game selection could be better. I will give it that. It's not the worst game selection. Wouldn't it be awesome if that was Panzer Dragon? Hello Kitty. You know how Levine released a song a while back called Hello Kitty? At least I think that's what it was called. And there we go. So really there isn't much. Um, the control, the directional pad and the buttons do feel nice. The buttons, I would say they're about the size of an old, of, a, of an aspirin. Now I haven't had an aspirin in, you know, I don't know, 15 years, 20 years. So yeah, think of an aspirin from that long ago. Let's try out, where was it? There we go. I know there are some people who go crazy over Double Dragon 2. Um, this might be a system for them. You know, for me, eh. I never really was a huge fan of the Double Dragon series. It just wasn't for me. I'm more of a Final Fight person. Where am I going? Um, it seems to play okay. Again, I'm not a huge uh, fan of it, so you tell me. But uh, yeah, go ahead and turn this off. It does have its ups and downs. Um, it's a pretty cheap system. Um, shipping is higher than I'm used to paying for these. The screen is good. The buttons, the directional pad is pretty good. The sound is a little on the slow side. The feel, it's very nice and sturdy. Um, I don't feel, uh, I've had systems, um, let's see, you remember this bad boy? 
Yeah, look at that. Still on. Um, this one was kind of cheap feeling. This thing, this is nice and sturdy. I actually like it. It's a good, um, I don't have any fear of it breaking. I do love that you have a nice battery indicator light. That is awesome. What else can I say? Um, would I recommend it? Eh, why not? I'd recommend it if you're buying something else from the store and just add this to the cart. Uh, buying it on its own by itself to play, eh, I personally wouldn't. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.